these are just unacceptable deployment of chemicals in ways that uh, violate all conventions which Russia itself has signed up for. It violates uh, agreements that Russia undertook to be responsible for identifying and eliminating the chemical weapons inside of Syria. I can only comment that Russia has again failed in their commitment because the chemical weapons are clearly there. They're being used against civilian populations and the most vulnerable children inside of Syria. And I think President Trump was pretty clear the last time he saw this happen inside of Syria. So we are holding Russia responsible for addressing this. They are Assad's ally. We also continue our dialogue with Turkey to address their legitimate concerns along the border. Uh, President Trump, President Erdogan had a very lengthy phone call, which I participated in the other evening, and the discussion was very open and frank about our views. We share the same objective, defeat ISIS, secure a whole Syria, violating none of its territorial sovereignty today. Poland and the United States are working together through NATO to strengthen Europe's deterrence and defense capabilities. We particularly commend Poland for already achieving the commitment of 2% 2, 2 uh, defense spending, and have, Poland has set targets that are even above the 2% level, and we commend them for their, their investment in the defense architecture for the good of Poland as well as the NATO alliance. On other fronts, we're increasing our collaboration to, to confront cyber threats and disinformation and coordinating our support for Ukraine, Ukraine's efforts to regain its sovereignty. Like Poland, the United States opposes the Nord Stream 2 pipeline. We see it as undermining Europe's overall energy security and stability, and it provides Russia yet another tool to politicize energy as a political tool. Uh, Nord Stream 2 would continue uh, to keep Europe more dependent on Russia for natural gas. It also allows Russia to now use the natural gas supply system as a political tool uh, to create more pressure on countries like Ukraine and elsewhere. So we think it is, uh, it's not a helpful piece of infrastructure in terms of providing stability for all of Europe. As to what can be done, uh, we will continue to take steps as, as, as we can. I think we have to recognize, though, that Nord Stream 2 does have uh, significant European investment in the project, so not everyone is like-minded on the issue of Nord Stream 2. 